Elma has a lot of people on Facebook in the comment section letting us know, giving us their support. Our ninth in the super lightweight division. Help me contest it over eight three-minute rounds. Pitches reversal by round the blue corner. We're in the yellow shots for the blue trailer. With a professional fight record of 11 fights. He is also representing Thailand. Give a big warm welcome to Machira Okay, folks, we are here for this next fight, the ninth fight of the evening, this light flyweight fight, the Philippines taking on Thailand. Elmar Zamora from the Philippines with a perfect record of seven wins, zero losses. He is wearing the white shorts with the red trim with Samurai written across the front, and he takes on Thailand, Wakirat Sanpakon, and he is wearing the yellow shorts with the blue trim. We can see lots of people in the comment section right now cheering for Elmar. Let us know where you're from in the comment section. Post your flag. Let us know if you're representing Thailand or the Philippines for this fight. Oh. Round number one underway. <laughs> the fight is very calm in the first round. The fighter's just touching each other with the jab. Neither fighter committing to a powerful shot just yet. Elmar just dancing around. Hands below his hips, just flicking out those jabs and those right hands upstairs. Elmar now with his back against the ropes, looking very smooth, looking very slick, lands a left hook upstairs, and he looks like he's already got his opponent under his spell. He looks very calm. Usually when a fighter has their hands down low, they're hoping their opponent commits to a shot and then they can counter that punch over the top. Let's see if... What Chirarat falls into the spell of Elmar. What Chirarat really needs to start just coming alive here. Don't let an opponent bully you like this. You've got to start sending jabs. Right now, Zamora is just absolutely toying with his opponent so far. Neither fighter has landed a clean, hard shot just yet. One minute gone in a round number one already. Jabs downstairs, jabs upstairs, left hooks to follow. Zamora is doing a great job right now of just firing lots and lots of punches from different angles, not allowing Wachirat to really get a rhythm going. Wachirat attempts a right hand upstairs. Zamora backs up. And we can see both fighters not throwing huge, heavy shots just yet. Both fighters feeling each other out, trying to get your range, trying to get the timing. But Zamora almost looks like he's got his opponent where he wants him to be. He's got him behind his jab, and he's got him guessing which angle he's going to come at. Both fighters holding central ring. And this is a situation where Zamora is in just absolute control, and he is very, very calm. He doesn't feel like he's at much risk against Wachirowit at this moment in time, so he's taking his time, waiting for the correct opening. And you can see Zamora just dances around, hands at his hips, throwing hands, but just not allowing his opponent to know where those shots are coming from. If your hands are at your hips, your opponent doesn't really have you in the same eye line, so it's very hard to know where those shots are coming to. Wachira really needs to push forward. He cannot allow Zamora to dance around with his hands at his hips. He's got to push the pace of a jab, and he's got to stiffen that jab to the shoulders, to the chest of Zamora. Really stunt his movement. Go to the hips, go to the shoulders. But you can't allow Zamora to get any rhythm going because once you do, Zamora is just going to time you. 
few seconds to go of round number one. And that is the bell for round number one. A very respectful round by both fighters, it seemed like. Let's see some action replays here. Both fighters exchanging jabs with one another. But you can see Zamora just touching downstairs and upstairs, not committing to anything powerful. And that's usually a sign of someone either setting the trap or really trying to find his timing as much as he possibly can. Zamora almost is boxing like someone who knows he can end this fight whenever he needs to. And the thing with what Chirawit is, what Chirawit is allowing Elmar to think that Elmar is almost having his way with his opponent. What Chirawit has just got to push the pace now. March forward, aim to put your head on the chest of Zamora and just start going to the body and to the head. But you need to be aggressive here. If you're not aggressive, Zamora is just going to dance around you. And here we are, round number two. So Zamora representing the Philippines in the white and red, taking on Thailand, Wachirawit from Thailand and wearing the yellow shorts with the blue trim. And I think the referee has told him to engage ever so slightly because in that first round, there was a little bit too much of a feeling out process, which is very normal in some fights. You want to see where your range is. You want to test your opponent's power. But also you've got to remember, you've got an audience watching you as well. They're here to watch a fight. They're here to watch two people try and put it down. A nice jab downstairs, followed up with our right hand as well. Zamora goes downstairs once again. And Zamora looks like he's changing his temper. Once what Chirawit doesn't believe he's in any danger, that's when Zamora is going to turn up the power, just turn up the heat and really deliver a big shot upstairs or downstairs. A big right hand downstairs, a left hand to follow. And now Wachirowit is really exposing his chin and the referee has stopped this fight. A beautiful stoppage by the referee there. The referee gave Wachirowit as much chance as he possibly could to stop that, to do something different. And he chose not to. And credit to Zamora, he didn't take liberties in that fight. He didn't just go to the head of his opponent. He went to the body. And to me, that is respect from Elmar Zamora. He knew if he went to the head, he could have really damaged Wachirowit. But he chose not to. He chose to go to the body where he knows his opponent will get up and be able to fight another time. There's no point bullying an opponent. You know you're better than Elmar Zamora. Just knew exactly what he was doing. He was in 100% control. And I think as soon as he started landing those jabs, he knew he wasn't in any danger. Let's go to Ali McCurney with the official announcement. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, at one minute and one second, it's round number two. Your winner by technical knockout goes to the red corner. Give it up for Elmar. Thank you, everyone, for your comments.